Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you about remote sensing. It is very important feature of digital technology and geoinformatics. So let's start. Remote sensing. What is remote sensing? Remote sensing is the science and art of obtaining useful information about an object or phenomena of our surface without actually coming into contact with the target. Remote sensing is a science of acquiring, processing, and interpreting images that records the interaction between electromagnetic energy and materials. How it is possible and what is the process of uh, remote sensing and getting its output? So let's check it. Here you have seen a simple diagram of uh, uh, remote sensing process. Here is, there is a three to four object. First is a sun. Second is natural resources of a surface. Third is satellite. So how it process works? This is a very simple process or diagram of remote sensing, in which a sun, a satellite, and natural resources of Earth combine with each other and produce a out remote sensing output. In on which we will discuss, uh, on which we will get the information about. So how it works? Uh, check it. This is the different stage of a remote sensing data acquisition. The it is a seven step process in which first the source of energy source is sun. It propagates the energy through the atmosphere in the second step, and in third step it interacts the earth surface features, and in fourth step it is repropagate energy through the atmosphere in the form of electromagnetic waves, and fifth it is received by a sensor. Sixth step this sensor transmit these signals to the earth station and in the seventh step the earth station service center just produce uh, digitally data it's called satellite images on which we will do so many various activities and perform and out and produce an output which is useful for uh, uh, so many projects so there is a seven step in which first is the energy source a is called sun in the remote sensing the energy source is very important it eliminates or provides electromagnetic energy to the target of interest here sun is a source of energy who provides light or energy it is a natural source second it is the radiation who propagates propagation of energy through atmosphere as energy is as energy travels source to the target, it will come in contact with and interact with atmosphere. It passes through. In third step, interaction with the target. Once the energy makes its way to the target through atmosphere, it interacts with the target depending on the properties of both target and radiation. Fourth, repropagate energy. After the energy has been scattered or by emitted from the target. And the fifth step received by the sensor. We require a sensor to collect or record the electromagnetic radiation. In sixth step, the transmission of data to the, the energy recorded by the sensor has to be transmitted in electromagnet to receive and process in station where data processed into images. In the seventh step, data products or digital and interpretation analysis and apply application. The process image is interpreted digitally to interact information about the target which is illuminated. The final element of the remote sensing process is achieved when we apply the information in solving a problem. This is a simple seven step pro uh, process to generate an output or in the form of satellite images on which we will perform an operation and produce a important uh, information results. There are two types of remote sensing. First is active and the passive. The both remote sensing only have a one difference that the active remote sensing have its, its own source of energy, just like radar and laser. And example is lidar. And the passive form of energy is the natural source of energy is sun. There is an example of simple regular cell. These are the different uh, resolutions output of uh, satellite pictures. We can use all of them in different projections and the different scale. <laughs> Different all of them have different resolutions and uh, remote these are the uses field uses of remote sensing in which field uh, remote sensing are using today is the world remote sensing are using in every field uh, just like uh, civil just like urban planning uh, geology and uh, disaster management and many more other things so it's a very vast uh, approach uh, remote sensing is so useful in the digital transformation era so i hope you just like it and um, i'm giving you a simple example how we use remote sensing just um, 
we we'll just assume that we are living in a city called A, and uh, our neighbor city is after two to three hundred, two hundred to three hundred kilometers. The city exists is called B, and it is uh, flooded due to the heavy rainfall, and uh, nobody given uh, a path to drain the water. So how it is possible? It is possible with the help of remote sensing. We can use uh, satellite pictures of. Uh, just uh, one to two days uh, before of the flood or uh, after the flood and uh, we just uh, check the images and uh, perform an operation and give the suggested part to drain the water so all the water of the city just drain out and the city lives uh, again happily so there are so many examples uh, in which uh, remote sensing we will use remote sensing i am giving you uh, more important videos uh, about uh, practical videos because the theory is uh, so much available on the net you can use uh, uh, or download so many theoretical lectures or tutorials but there is no practical tutorial so my main motto is to give you practical tutorials so that's why i am just uh, uh, pick all these topics geoinformatics remote sensing gs yes, uh, in very brief matter for the tutorials so i hope you like it and uh, carry and just uh, Check all my videos one by one and thanks.